गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अगेन स्टार्ट द पार्ट सेकेंड ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर वन विच इज़ फ्रेंच रिवोल्यूशन एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ क्लास नाइन्थ हिस्ट्री बुक सो इन द लास्ट क्लास वी हैड डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द थ्री स्टेट्स एंड वी हैड कम टू नो अबाउट द नेम्स ऑफ द थ्री स्टेट्स विच व क्लर्गी नोबिलिटी एंड द थर्ड स्टेट हमने तीन चीज़ों के बारे में पढ़ा था तीन स्टेट्स थे कौन कौन से क्लर्गी नोबिलिटी एंड थर्ड स्टेट एंड वी हैव ऑल वी हैड ऑल्सो डिस्कस्ड कि क्लर्की और नोबिलिटी व नॉट पेइंग टैक्सेस बट जो थर्ड स्टेट वाले होते थे जो सबसे गरीब होते थे जिसमें पीजेंट्स और आर्टिशंस आते थे जिसमें छोटे फार्मर्स आते थे लैंडलेस लेबरर्स आते थे दे हैव टू पे द टैक्सेज सो टुडे वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ फ्यू थिंग्स अबाउट दैम so let's start this topic the church too extracted its share of taxes called tithes from the peasants and finally all members of the third states had to pay taxes to the state these included a direct tax called tally and a number of indirect tax which were levied on articles of everyday consumption like salt or tobacco the burden of financing activities of the state through taxes was borne by the third state alone as i have already told you that uh, after some time they had uh, established a new rule they the king had established a new rule and according to that rule all the persons of the third state had to pay the taxes only uh, and they have to pay the taxes of the first and second state person also here two words have came first one was tith a tax levied by church tith was a tax jo church ne diya tha and it uh, what it comprises one fourth of the agricultural produce and it comprises of the one fourth part of the agricultural produce and the second word is tell uh, the tally means tax to be paid directly to the state and it was a tax which had to be paid directly to the state directly to the government of the state now the struggle to survive as i have already told you that uh, due to the due to paying the taxes jo farmers the wo bahut gareeb hote ja rahe the they were becoming poorer day by day even they have they had to take loans from the money lenders and they have to pay high interest on those loans that's why they have to sell their lands sell their crops whatever they had produced jo bhi hota tha unke paas usko bech ke unko apna loan dena padta tha the population of france rose from 23 million in 1715 to 28 million in 1789 this led to a rapid increase in the demand for food grains production of grains could not keep pace with the demand for the price of bread which was the staple diet of the majority rise rapidly most workers were employed as laborers in workshops rose arose owner fixed their wages but wages did not keep pace with the rise in prices so the gap between the poor and the rich widened earnings became worse whenever drought or hell reduced the harvest this led to a subsistence crisis something that occurred frequently in france during the old regime the struggle to survive ka matlab hota hai ki kaise bachne ke liye unko wahan ke logo ko struggle karna pad raha tha 1715 mein the population of france was 23 million and in 1789 it had increased to 28 million that's why uh, the demand for the food grains become larger jab zyada population hogi it means that the jo food grains hogi wo bhi zyada chahiye aur agar jab food grains zyada chahiye to jo food grains mein sabse zyada staple diet jo common diet tha wo tha bread so the demand of bread uh, became high and the when the demand became high the prices of bread arose very rapidly the prices of bread rises very rapidly and that's why jo garib hote the they can't afford to buy bread at those prices and because of this reason 
एक ऐसी कंडीशन आई व्हेन इट केम टू अ कंडीशन दैट बिकेम अ सब्सिस्टेंस क्राइसिस नाउ आई विल टेल यू दैट व्हाट इज द कंडीशन ऑफ सब्सिस्टेंस क्राइसिस सब्सिस्टेंट क्राइसिस मींस एन एक्सट्रीम सिचुएशन वेयर द बेसिक मींस ऑफ लाइवलीहुड आर इन डेंजर्ड एंड वन वर्ड इज एनोनिमस वन हुज नेम रिमेंस अननोन सो सब्सिस्टेंट क्राइसिस वाज अ सिचुएशन व्हेन द when anyone is not having food or cloth or shelter uh, food to eat cloth to wear or shelter to live and their livelihood comes into a condition of endangered that now they will not survive and the second word is anonymous anonymous means a person whose name is unknown means uh, जो बो जिसके बारे में ये तो पता है कि किसी ने कहा है बट किसने कहा है वी डोंट नो दैट पर्सन इज अन नोन here is a figure of the spider and the fly and here it is writ- written anonymous etching now we will discuss a figure how a subsistent crisis happens here you can see uh, here it is written bad harvest bad harvest means the poorest can no longer buy bread जब बैड हार्वेस्टिंग होगा तो उसका जब प्रोडक्शन कम होगा तो जो पुअरेस्ट होंगे वो ब्रेड खरीद नहीं सकते क्योंकि उनके पास पैसा नहीं होगा एंड जब पैसा नहीं होगा खाने के लिए नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा डिजीज़ आएगी डिजीज़ आएगी तो कंडीशन क्या होगी एक सब्जिस्टेंस क्राइसिस की कंडीशन होगी अ ग्रोइंग मिडिल क्लास एनविजेज एन एंड टू प्रिवेलेज कैसे एक मिडिल क्लास ग्रो कर रही थी In the past, peasant and workers had participated in revolts against increasing taxes and food scarcity, but they lacked the means and programs to carry out full-scale measures that would bring about a change in the social and economic order. This was left to those groups within the third state who had become prosperous and had access to education and new ideas. पास्ट में जो पीजेंट और वर्कर्स होते हैं वो रिवॉल्ट्स में उन्होंने पार्टिसिपेट किया किसके अगेंस्ट जो टैक्स इंक्रीज हो रहे थे और जो फूड स्कार्ट सिटी हो रही थी फॉर दैट दे हैव प्रोटेस्टेड दे हैड रिवॉल्टेड बट दे हैव लैक ऑफ मींस दैट्स व्हाई दियर प्रोग्राम्स कुड नॉट कैरी ऑन कैरी ऑन अ फुल स्केल मीजर्स एंड दैट वाई दे हैव एंड गॉट द सक्सेस इन द सोशल एंड इकोनॉमिकल ऑर्डर ऑफ दैट टाइम and this was left as the reason to those groups within the third state uh, third state mein kuch businessmen bhi hote the unke liye ye chhod diya gaya tha that they had become prosperous and had they had access to education and they had access to new ideas also 18th century mein what they have witnessed the emergence some some social groups have emerged in the 18th century and they were also middle class they had earned wealth and expanded overseas trade they had manufactured goods wool wool uh, wool and silk textiles and they had exported these things also to the richer members of the society and in addition merchants manufacturer third state what jo jo bhi the kuch lawyers the kuch administrative officials the all of these uh, educated the and wo unko believe tha that is society mein no group Uh, should be privileged by birth rather a person social position must depend on his merit these ideas envisaging a society based on freedom and equal laws and opportunities for all were put forward by philosophers such as john locke and jean jacques rousseau in his two treaties of government uh, locke sought to the future uh, sought to the refute the doctrine of the divine and absolute right uh, the monarch rousseau carried the idea forward proposing a government based on social contract between people of these representatives means uh, some of the people had come in front and they had said that all should get equal rights and two of them were john locke and jean jacques rousseau and they have carried these idea ideas forward wo in ideas ko forward leke gaye aur kuch representatives bane the spirit of laws montesquieu posed the division of power or 
लेजिस्लेटिव और एग्जीक्यूटिव और जुडिशियरी में कुछ पावर्स डिवाइड की जाए ये कहा गया मॉडल ऑफ गवर्नमेंट जो था वो यूएसए में फोर्स किया गया और तेरह कॉलोनीज को इंडिपेंडेंस डिक्लेयर किया गया ब्रिटेन ने इंडिपेंडेंट डिक्लेयर किया अमेरिकन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ने ये गारंटी दी कि इंडिविजुअल राइट्स बहुत इम्पॉर्टेंट हैं एंड पीपल लोगों को ये आ, लोगों के लिए फ्रांस में वो सोचा जाएगा और ये फिलासफ़र्स का जो आइडियाज़ था वट एवर दे हैव डिस्कस्ड सेलेंस कॉफ़ी हाउसेज हर जगह ये दे हैव स्प्रेड इट थ्रू द बुक्स एंड न्यूज़ पेपर्स एंड लोग बहुत तेज तेज से दे हैव रीडेड इट अलाउड इन द ग्रुप्स सो दैट ऑल ऑफ देम कैन गेट द बेनिफिट एंड सो दैट ऑल ऑफ देम कैन बेनिफिट एज सम ऑफ देम कुड नॉट रीड एंड राइट अगर कुछ लोग पढ़ लिख नहीं पाते हैं तो एट लीस्ट दे कैन लिसन टू दीज थिंग्स एंड दे शुड फाइट फॉर दियर राइट एंड द किंग लुइस सिक्सटीन प्लान टू इम्पोज फर्दर टैक्सेज बट किंग लुइस सिक्सटीन हैड प्लान सम थिंग दैट दे ही विल इम्पोज सम फर्दर टैक्सेज फॉर वॉट पर्पज टू मीट द एक्सपेंसिज ऑफ द स्टेट मतलब जो राज्य के खर्चे हैं जनरेटेड एंगर है जो प्रोटेस्ट है जो उन्होंने किया है फॉर दैट ही विल इम्पोज फर्दर टैक्सेज so uh, for today it's enough uh, we'll study the next topic in the next class and don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you are having any confusion write it in the comment box i'll try to solve your problem till then goodbye and take care see you all in the next class